At the beginning of the story, we are told that many people in New Zealand have died due to poisonous bacteria in the air, and two years after this incident, New Zealand has become completely desolate. The government here has also broken down, the contact with the rest of the world has also ended with New Zealand, and the remaining people have started for their survival. Hunger and bad conditions have made people cruel, where no one trusts anyone. These people kill each other to eat. This has become a dangerous place to live. And in this world, Colin also lives with his wife, he is not in favor of killing anyone for no reason. He used to stay away from fighting, but still, he had to protect himself in these dangerous situations, so he has the gun with him. When he sees a man coming to his house, he shoots a bullet in the sky and warns him to stay away, because Colin had bought some vegetables in his garden to live with great difficulty, he did not want anyone to loot him. The next day, two people come close to his house for the purpose of looting, so Colin also shows them a gun and drives them away, but does not kill. This has become a routine, someone or the other used to come to loot their house or food, but Colin has never killed anyone. One day, when his wife is working in the garden, a cut is made on her leg with an iron, about which she does not tell anything to Colin. At night, she starts screaming in pain, her wound has increased a lot, in a little while, the wound had taken the shape of an infection, Callan's wife also faints from the pain. Early in the morning, Colin studies his wife's wound, and finds out that the bacteria from people died here years ago, were still in the air. And the chance of getting infected with these bacteria, was more for those who got a cut somewhere. When Colin tells this to his wife, she becomes very sad. For her treatment, they needed a special medicine, that they did not have. To take this, Colin now decides to go out of here, and gives his wife a gun that has five bullets. He tells her to keep it with you for your protection, do not use it for no reason, and if you feel threatened, you can use it to kill someone. Now, as we already know that people used to kill people walking around here. So if anyone passed by Colin, he would tell them that he does not want any fight, but still, some people were very crazy, and they started enjoying killing people. Seeing such people, Colin also has to change his path. Finally, he reaches in front of a small house. When he knocks the door, no sound comes from inside, he goes inside and checks the house. There was a lot of stuff kept there, and there were a lot of weapons. Suddenly, a man comes from behind and puts a gun on him. This old man was about to kill him, but Colin tells him that wait, I have not come to harm you, my wife is very sick and I need a medicine, I have come here only in search of it. During these talks, there was an attack. This old man named Summers tells Colin to help him. The people outside were attacking. First, they had thrown fire inside the house, and now they were continuously shooting at this house. Summers bravely fights all these people alone, and tells Colin to put out the fire quickly while. The attackers leave there in a while, Summers now tells Colin that I have made a lot of my enemies here, you stay with me for a week, help me to face these people. I'll give you the medicine that you want which I have. Colin who knows that he'll not get this medicine from anywhere else. He has to listen to Summers even unwillingly. Summers tells him that he has set many traps around this house. Some people come to attack and get caught in these traps. I kill them but still, this place needs a lot of care. Kellen was an engineer once, who fixes a lot of things in Summers' house. He puts a lot of electric traps there. On the other hand, we see Kellen's wife, who was slowly getting very weak. At the same time, she feels that someone is trying to enter her house. She secretly attacks this man with a stick smartly, and he faints. She wanted to kill this man with her gun, but she didn't have that much courage. She puts him in a trolley and throws him away from her house. On the other hand, we see that Summers and Kellen were still working to improve the defense system of their house. At night, Summers tells him that someone will come to attack them. Kellen gets angry after hearing this, that Summers could not tell him this before. He didn't even prepare much for this attack. They have a lot of fights between them. Kellen beats him up, but Summers knew that Kellen would never do this because he didn't like fighting. No one would attack them at night, and in the morning, when they go hunting, a lot of people fight with them. Kellen had been beaten up by these people a lot. Before they kill Kellen, Summers shoots these two men and kills them. And he says to Kellen, are you stupid? Couldn't you shoot them? There is no such goodness everywhere. When they came home, their house was attacked by the drones. Summers and Kellen shoot and destroy these drones. After the destruction of these drones, the attackers do not attack again and leave quietly. After the cutscene, we see Kellen's wife. She suddenly felt that someone has entered her house and hidden. When she checks, there was a little girl, her friend's daughter, whose family was now dead. And before dying, this girl's mom had told her about Kellen's wife's house. That's why she came here. 
Kellen's wife keeps her at home, gives her food and love. Because Kellen's wife could never become a mother, she decided to keep this girl with her. After the cutscene, we are shown a Don lady. She had joined many bad people with her. This group used to loot innocent people and enjoy their things. Here, Kellen, who is still at Summers' house, hears some sounds from Summers' basement. He starts shooting without thinking, so Summers comes and stops him. Because he knew that there was a kid in his basement, who was very scared of people. That's why he had been hiding in the basement for many days. Summers has saved him from a goon. And because of this, those goons had become Summers' enemies. Summers did not have one enemy, he had many enemies. Kellen's wife, who now lived with that little girl in her house, the same old man comes to her house again, whom she had thrown out of the house once before. This time too, she attacks him and throws him out of the house. She wanted to kill him, but could not do so. Then that man says, you kill me, this is better, otherwise, I will come again and again. That same night, he also attacks Summers' house. The attacker was the same man, about whom Summers had told Kellen today, from whom he had saved a child. The attacking enemies knew that there were many traps around. That's why they sent a tank to Summers' house, which was bombing their house like a tank. Summers and Kellen were also trying to save this house. And then, as soon as they get the chance, Summers' enemy enters the basement, where he found that child too. He ties a bandage on this child's mouth and ties his hands too. And then, he enters the house through a secret way, where Summers and Kellen were both. He had shot Summers and injured him. And before he could kill Kellen, Kellen and that man are shocked to see each other. We know that Kellen is the son of this bad man. This bad man also wanted to make Kellen a goon like him. But when Kellen chose a peaceful life, this man left his son, Kellen. And the child he was after, Kellen's dad now wanted to make him his son. Not only this, but he also wanted to make him a goon like him. This bad man, that is, Kellen's dad, takes his companions from here. And now it's morning. Kellen had spent a whole week at Summer's house. According to the promise, now Kellen should have got the medicine too. Summers does not break his promise. He also gives him the medicine and tells him that you take this child with you to your house. He is not safe here at all. Kellen did not want to leave Summers. He knew that Summers needed him. He is injured. But Summers says, leave me. You go and save your wife. This is a small wound. As soon as Kellen reaches home, the little girl who was living with his wife shoots at them. But thank God her aim was not fixed. Kellen calms her down with great difficulty, and immediately goes to his very sick wife and gives her an injection. Her condition was so bad that Kellen felt that she was dead. Due to the effect of his good fortune medicine, she soon regains consciousness. They talk at the lunch table. Kellen introduces his wife to the child he brought with him. Kellen's wife introduces him to a girl who lives with her. They both wanted children anyway, and now their family was complete. But Kellen was still a little sad, because he knew that Summers needed him. He is injured, and his enemies will definitely come to attack him. He goes there to help him. And this time, Summers' own daughter comes to attack him with her goons. This girl is none other than, the first lady shown in the movie, Dawn Lady. Now the question was why did this girl want to kill her dad? Because her dad had left her and her mom alone at a time, when they needed this summer the most. She was here today to take revenge for this. But now Kellen had also come to help Summers. A little war breaks out here. Kellen and Summers face them very well. Meanwhile, we learn that the bad guy, who is also Kellen's father, had also come to attack Summers with this girl. And this time, to save himself, Kellen does not hesitate to kill his dad. He kills his dad, while on the other hand, Summers makes his daughter unconscious with an electric shotgun. Many people were killed in this fight. Let's assume that this war was a draw in which, now the Don Lady's companions, were taking her away in their car. Summers was now safe in his house. One of his enemies had died and one had lost. While here, Kellen had also returned to his house. He wanted to live a good life with his family. That's why he puts a trap all around his house, so that no one can come to their house. After which, the story ends here by showing Kellen's family happy.